What up, everybody? My Vernon Kid here coming to you again. How's everybody doing out there? So I'm here to basically uh, give you guys what you guys chose uh, for the 12th member of um, my uh, New Avengers Task Force team that will be on uh, the Marvel 2012 site. Um, so basically, like I said, and also another surprise that I'm working on as well. So, uh, without further ado, the 12th member with the vote, the majority of the votes, you chose none other than A-Bomb. Uh, Rick Jones is the 12th member. So, congratulations, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed that. It, it really came down to him and Shang Chi, but he got the most votes. But the next thing I'm also gonna talk about is another series that I, my fourth series for the site, um, the champions. Um, every if you don't know who the champions are, it's an, it was a group that came out during the 70s uh, and it had a very ensemble cast. And I'm bringing it back for that site. I'm just trying to do as much as I can for the site. So uh, let's get into the roster. So the roster of this team is an eight-man team, eight-person team, not very big, but uh, it's an eight-person team, and uh, everybody, like I said, a lot of underrated characters. But first of all, one of the original members will be coming back because, hell, I, I love the character, and I definitely want to write the character, um, and that's, as you can see right here, Hercules. Uh yeah, Herc will definitely is one of the founding members of the champions. Uh, he will be back. I will be writing him. This, this will be this series will be like a, a, a very much of action comedy. So I'm gonna use a lot of all my favorite action comedy movies and aspects of action comedy that I like. And Herc definitely fits that bar of action and comedy. Um, he will still be depowered. He won't. Uh, so he will still be using all the weapons he have uh, took from his raided from his brother Ares so like the the sword of Ares the shield of Perseus and the arrows of uh, Artemis and things like that for now uh, but yeah another member uh, is a uh, Warren Worthington aka Angel slash Archangel yeah he'll be the other member uh, other founding member that will be returning to the series now why would he return especially now in the Marvel 2012 mutants are kind of wigged out well basically because the way I me and I was describing it with uh, Tyler uh, Deadpoolzilla we were talking about it it's basically Herc goes and tries to get the team back together but they're like no we're not coming back but Herc uh, Warren and Bobby know because Iceman was a part of the champions as well is that Herc needs their help so basically uh, Warren basically reluctantly says look I'll help best because Bobby said you need it but if the moment you start acting stupid and crazy I'm leaving Warren is also gonna fund the team as well so uh, yeah you guys know Warren is rich so he's definitely gonna fund the team especially for a base of operations and things like that but yeah I'm gonna have him as Archangel as well so he's gonna switch back and forth uh, the next person is Kelsey Lang uh, aka Lionheart um, she, uh, Kelsey was once Captain Britain for a while when, um, uh, Brad, Brad, uh, Brian Braddock was in the Omniverse for a while and she was, she's been an Avenger. Then she pretty much retired and decided to, uh, just settle down and raise her child. But the first story arc of this series is going to be called World Tour, where basically they take a trip around the world, uh, and try to do some recruiting of other heroes just not inside the United States but and definitely uh, I wanted to use Lionheart I've loved it I always liked the character I thought she was really cool very strong everything Captain Britain is she's pretty much magic based I like next up is none other than another character that not too many people might not heard of or just like okay who's this guy um so I'm going Native American guys and yeah and and uh, that guy is none other than, yes, believe it or not, this is his name, American Eagle. 
Now, before you start knocking his name, knocking the character, let me tell you about this character. This character made Bullseye look like a jobber. He paralyzed Bullseye for a short time during the classic run of the... During the Civil War when the Thunderbolts were basically uh, like the those uh, bounty hunters. He's very strong. He's got good tracking skills and things like that. And the way I'm going to write him is a little bit, well, you know, he's still going to be badass, basically. Next up, still going international, uh, Gogo Tamoko. Uh, she is basically from the Japanese Marvel team known as Big Hero 6. And Gogo basically has this bionic suit that is thermal, kind of, uh, and basically she has combustive shots. She can also, and she can also turn herself into a ball of, and it'll basically, it's like a beam of energy. It's like very, it, it, it turn herself into an exploding ball by just by saying her name, Gogo Tamoko. Uh, but she leaves the team of the uh, Big Hero 6 because she's a little bit frustrated. She's kind of like the bad girl of the team, but yeah, you'll understand when I finish. Uh, the next girl on the team, another classic hero. That I'm going to put on this new champions is none other than Ms. Silver Claw. Uh, Silver Claw is basically a, she's from South America. She's a South American hero. She was once an Avenger. She was on the reserve team, reserve list. And she's basically, she can change her skin silver. So nobody will know who she is, as well as she's she can she's a metamorph. She turns into different kinds of animals and things like that. And uh, so yeah, uh, Silver uh, Silver Claw is definitely going to be on the team. Next up is Black Goliath, Tom Foster, not Bill Foster. This is Bill Foster's nephew. He took up the the identity of his uncle when he died during a civil war um he has pretty much all the same powers as his uncle you know can change his size and everything like that um so and remember this is what happened with the he never really joined uh wonder man to start the re-avengers so the way, reason why he joins the team is kind of a base of you know he wants to keep his uncle's legacy alive and since everybody else is kind of taken you know and the last member of the team uh, since he didn't get in on uh, the new Avengers task force I'm putting him on the champions and that's none other than Shang-Chi yeah um, Shang-Chi will be a part of the team as well um, the, the reason why I chose Shang-Chi is because I actually wanted Karnak, my favorite of the Inhumans. However, Karnak is being used by another fellow writer, so I can't, I'm not going to have him double jumping from different teams. So I said, let me just go with another great martial artist, and there you have it, Shang-Chi. Uh, enough said about that. So um, there you go, guys. That is the roster of the soon team of the champions in the Marvel 2012 site. Like I said, I'm trying to do as much as I can for the site, for our editor, <laughs> Liam Perry Lloyd, as we all like to call him. Um, I just want to let him, just show him that much I appreciate what he, he's letting me do, uh, as well as just thank him because he's really got my creative juices flowing. And this is probably not the last thing I'm going to do. I'm, I'm already writing four series. Um, and I got some more ideas in mind, but right now, here, that's the champions. Um, and I think the roster is pretty good. It's not that strong, but it's going to play a lot. The champions, they're going to do a lot. Um, like I said, Hercules is still going to be kind of, um, he's still going to be depowered. And kind of, you know, everybody still is going to hear of, you know, Hercules no, not having his demigod powers anymore, so they're really going to test him a lot, including his his father Zeus. Zeus is going to play a lot in this series. Um, and what I can tell you also, which I don't mind spoiling this, is 
Somebody, somebody might ask, oh, so will you give Herx back his demigod powers? Um, honestly, yes. There will come a time where there will come an event where he definitely needs his demigod powers again. So, yeah. But Zeus is definitely going to watch over his son and see how he forms this team and how they stay together. There's going to be some real animosity at first, you know, as pretty much all teams start out. But the champions really started out kind of like, that's why they broke up. There was just totally differences in there. But you're really going to see this team grow as a team, come together, and be a world, a well-oiled team, so to speak. Uh, but like I said, it's going to be pretty much an action comedy. So there's going to be a lot of comedy as well in it, as much as I can do. Uh, especially with Herc, you know, the first, he's going to try to get back in on all various teams. And they're just going to be like, no. First is going to start out, you know, basically, they're all very nice. Well, you know, Herc, no, uh, no, 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 no. And then the other teams, you start trying to get, no, hell no, leave us alone. You're too old. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he's still going to be live up to that rule of being the legendary hero that he is. But I'm really excited about this. I really contemplated about doing it. But like I said, thanks to Liam Perry Lloyd and things like that. You know, my creative juices started flowing and I was like, let me bring back another classic team and uh, bring some classic heroes back onto this new universe. So um, other than that, guys, I know I've talked a little bit longer than I want to, but you guys tell me what you think. And once again, thanks uh, for all the people who voted uh, for A-Bomb. He will be a part of the team. And uh, other than that, tell me what you think of the new, the new uh, roster for the champions. Um, I'm really looking forward to hearing from people and uh, you know me input is very important to me I like hearing you guys input but other than that um, there's gonna be a lot of surprises in this this series a lot of guest stars that like I said it's gonna be the first story arc is called world tour and you're gonna see a lot of heroes before a lot of them basically come together but other than that um, y'all take care